Hi there, and today I'm going to get this very, very long back wall built to my London Underground station. So in my last video, I got the two tunnel mouths built. This one's got a little security door for uh, staff, London Underground staff, and this end is just a plain tunnel mouth. Um, I built those separately in parts and now I've put the whole thing together on a massive couple of base plates and they're actually old city road plates. You can see the white line down there. Um, it makes life easier as the um, track is offset by half a stud from the uh, platform edges so if I, <laughs> I couldn't have a studded base for it to sit on so they're happily sitting on the flat road in the middle but it just helps to keep the whole thing together while I'm building. Um, it's getting a bit um, big and unwieldy so difficult to keep the whole thing on uh, camera but hopefully we'll be able to see as it goes along and I'll move it down and you can see what I'm building. So first of all what we're going to do we're going to build up this back level to the same height as the uh, tiled platform so we're just to do that with a whole load of black plates. So we're going to pop all these on here and I've built this nicely in multiples of four so all my eights oops, should fit perfectly. There goes the end wall. So one by eights all the way down here. And then last one yeah. Moving back, this is going to be the entrance where the window figures come in. So there's a one by six there. Um, and if you'll remember from a previous video, where these two walls uh, butt up against each other, because they're tiled, um, they're not going to be able to fit smoothly next door to each other. Hence this column of one by two bricks instead of a, a tiled studded wall here. So the same thing's going to happen over here. We're going to have to have uh, flat bricks here and then we've got jumper plates to offset this wall in slightly um, to give our um, tiled wall um, on the back here. Um, so that's the first layer. Now then as um, on the end walls we're going to have a row of smooth bricks with no tiles on them. I'm going to lay those down first and when we get to here we've got something special coming in this place. So what I'm going to do, I've got two 1x4 plates, so I'm going to stack those. And then on top of those I've got some 1x2 tiles to give it a smooth surface and I need that to be smooth. And they're going to continue on with smooth regular bricks. And that one to just go around the corner slightly. This end, we're going to start over here. That's just a brick because I haven't got a one by two. It's a two by two there. But we're going to continue around the corner using standard bricks. And after that one by two, we're going to have two one by ones with studs on the side. So although the whole the rest of the wall is going to be studded on the side, we just need two there for a little feature that's going to come later on. So basically, in this video, I'm going to plan to hopefully get this whole wall finished and then the last video is going to be the um, curved roof and then lots of accessories to make it look a little bit more exciting and like an underground station. So that is our first row of bricks. Looking good so far. So then onto our first row of studded bricks. So one by two there, and then these are, as before, when I built the tunnel mouths, these are just one by fours with studs on the side. So we're gonna go all along here. And then where we have that, we can't fix anything to that. We have one there and leave a little gap for later on. And then you can see just around the corner, we're gonna put a one by one with a stud pointing the other way so we can tile this wall as the minifigures want to walk around here and off to the ticket hall. Then over to the other side. And nothing special this end, so we're just gonna start with a one by two and then add an awful lot of one by fours. 
Move it along here. off with another two there. so as you can see these studs are going to go around the corner so obviously this wall is going to need to be tiled too like that and what we're going to do now is build up from there i'll do that on time lapse because you don't need to see me doing it ever so slowly um, and i'll meet you when we get up to about here So that's the wall at this end of the platform completed. It's two bricks lower than the end wall because the back wall starts to slope in to give that curved tunnel effect. Um, so that's why the back wall is two bricks lower than the end wall. Um, we finished that one off. There's two holes here ready for features to come later on. Um, so those won't be tiled, only this area will be. But that's this end of the platform done. We're now gonna move on to the other end of the platform. Down here. This end of the platform done so we've got our studded wall there's a hole here for a feature two studs down here and a gap over here so things are going to be going there little accessories for later on um, the entrance way up to the ticket hall we've studded this wall and the back wall there and again in the corner like on the ends of the uh, uh, tunnel mouths we've got a column of just plain bricks so the tiles don't uh, collide with each other um, as they go around the corner um, we've got studs on here so we can tile up this wall as well um, and I think we're now next ready to tile the complete thing. Just before tiling realized one small mistake I've made. Uh, the reason that is one stud down is because we need to take this row off and, there, and, there, and, there. and instead we can have two one by fours bridging the gap because obviously that's the height of the doorway for the minifigures. That's why no one can see behind. So slight mistake there, apologies for that. Now I'll get on with the tiling off this end first. That's the white tiling of this end done. I'll leave the blue strip to the end and get on with the white tiling of the other end now. So that's all the white tiles for this end finished and also the corridor leading to the ticket hall that's all tiled as well so from all angles you can only see tiles now um, so it's just the nice dark azure blue line to do So I'm afraid that's where we're leaving it for this video. We've now got the complete back wall in all the way from this tunnel mouth all the way down to the tunnel mouth at the other end. We've got a few holes waiting for features to come. So we've got two smaller holes here and a larger one here. We've also got something gonna go here. And we've got those two random studs on the uh, sort of the lower level of bricks down here. And down at this lower level, you can see also the corridor leading up to the ticket hall. That's now completely tiled as well. So from this lower level of a minifig sort of eye level, you can see that wall is tiled in there. And if we turn it round, 
but as far as the eye can see, it's tiled also around this corner, um, sort of going off into the distance. So if we put minifig Jez in there, we can see uh, that's how he would enter the platform to catch his tube train. Oh look, the TARDIS in the hole there. Um, so we've finished for today. Uh, please do let me know what you think of this so far. It's nearly complete now. We've just got one more video to go where I will finish off this sort of wall curving up to the roof. We're gonna put a little bit of roofing on the back part of that wall, not over the whole thing, but just over the back part. And then lots of accessories going around the place, a few stickers to brighten the place up as well. Um, and then we'll be finished and we can uh, put the train in it and give it a quick run. Let me know what you think. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and please do subscribe to be notified of more LEGO videos.